Evening, friend. How's it going? I've been meaning to ask you something. Do you enjoy learning English? Oh, definitely. Learning English has been quite an experience for me. It's like unlocking a whole new world of opportunities. How about you? I can relate to that. English has opened up so many doors for me, too. It's such a versatile language, don't you think? I mean, just look at how widely it's spoken across the globe. It's practically the lingua franca of the modern world. True. And the resources available for learning English are endless. From books to online courses, there's something for everyone. That's very true. Plus, the internet has made it so much easier to practice and improve our English skills. There are countless websites, apps, and forums dedicated to language learning. And the more proficient we become in English, the more confident we feel in communicating with people from different cultures and backgrounds. Exactly. It's not just about mastering a language. It's about connecting with others and understanding different perspectives. Precisely. And let's not forget about the cultural aspect of learning English. Through literature, films, and music, we gain insights into the customs and traditions of English-speaking countries. Absolutely. I've discovered so many fascinating things about English-speaking cultures through their art and entertainment. So, would you say that learning English has enriched your life in more ways than one? Without a doubt. It's not just a means of communication. It's a gateway to new experiences and opportunities. And the journey of learning English itself is incredibly rewarding. Couldn't have said it better myself. It's amazing how a language can shape our lives in such profound ways. And the best part is, the learning never really ends. There's always something new to discover and explore in the world of English. Speaking of the benefits of learning English, do you think it can significantly impact one's career prospects? Like, do you believe you can get a better job when you speak English well? Of course. In today's globalized world, proficiency in English is often considered a valuable asset in the job market. Many multinational companies require their employees to have a good command of English, especially if they operate on an international scale. That's a great point. Being able to communicate effectively in English not only opens up job opportunities, but also increases one's chances of working in sectors such as tourism, hospitality, and international relations, where English is the primary language of communication. Exactly. And it's not just about securing a job. It's also about career advancement. People who are fluent in English often have access to a wider range of career paths and may even have the opportunity to work abroad or take on roles with more responsibilities. I couldn't agree more. English proficiency is often seen as a sign of professionalism and competence which can give individuals a competitive edge in their careers. It's like having an additional skill set that sets you apart from other candidates. And let's not forget about the financial aspect. 
Studies have shown that individuals who are fluent in English tend to earn higher salaries compared to those who are not. So, investing time and effort into mastering the language can definitely pay off in terms of earning potential. That's a really interesting point. I never thought about the correlation between English proficiency and salary levels, but it makes perfect sense. Employers are willing to pay a premium for employees who can effectively communicate with clients, partners, and colleagues from around the world. And the opportunities for career growth are not just limited to traditional employment. With English proficiency, individuals can also explore freelance work, entrepreneurship, or even start their own businesses targeting international markets. That's a great point. Speaking English opens up a world of entrepreneurial opportunities. Allowing individuals to reach a global audience and expand their business ventures beyond borders. So, when you consider all these factors, it's clear that mastering English can significantly enhance one's career prospects and overall professional development. So, here's an interesting question for you. Looking into the future, do you think English will continue to dominate as the global lingua franca, or do you see Chinese becoming more influential? That's a thought-provoking question. English has certainly established itself as the international language of business, science, and diplomacy. But there's no denying the growing influence of Chinese given China's economic rise and its increasing presence on the global stage. Absolutely. With China's rapid economic growth and its status as the world's most populous country, Mandarin Chinese is becoming increasingly important, not just in terms of business, but also in diplomacy and cultural exchange. That's true. And when we consider China's massive population and its investments in education and technology, it's not hard to imagine Mandarin Chinese gaining more prominence on the global scale in the coming years. However, English still holds certain advantages, such as its widespread use as a second language in many countries its dominance in international media and entertainment, and its status as the language of innovation and technological advancement. You make a valid point. English has already established a strong foothold in many sectors, and its influence is deeply ingrained in various aspects of global culture and communication. It's not something that can easily be replaced or overshadowed by another language. Exactly. While Chinese is certainly on the rise, English has a head start and a level of global acceptance that will be challenging for any other language to surpass. That's a fair assessment. And let's not forget that in today's interconnected world, Multilingualism is increasingly valued. Many individuals and businesses recognize the importance of being proficient in multiple languages, including both English and Chinese. Being able to speak both English and Chinese fluently could open up even more opportunities allowing individuals to navigate effectively in both Western and Eastern contexts. So, while it's interesting to speculate about the future dominance of English or Chinese, 
Perhaps the real key lies in embracing linguistic diversity and recognizing the value of multilingualism in a globalized world. You know, our discussion about the future of languages got me thinking about something deeper. It's not just about which language will prevail. It's also about the lessons we can learn from language itself. Language is not just a tool for communication. It's also a reflection of culture, history, and human experience. Each language carries its own set of values, beliefs, and traditions. And when we embrace linguistic diversity, we're not just expanding our communication abilities. We're also opening ourselves up to different ways of thinking and seeing the world. It teaches us empathy, understanding, and respect for others' perspectives. It reminds us that there is beauty in diversity and that we can learn valuable lessons from people who come from different linguistic and cultural backgrounds. Well said. And it's not just about understanding others. It's also about understanding ourselves better. Language shapes our identity and influences how we perceive ourselves and others. Language connects us to our roots, our heritage, and our sense of belonging. It reminds us of who we are and where we come from, even as we navigate a rapidly changing world. So, perhaps the real lesson here is not about which language will dominate in the future, but rather about the importance of preserving and celebrating linguistic diversity. It's about recognizing the richness of human culture and the wisdom that comes from embracing our differences. In doing so, we can build bridges of understanding and cooperation that transcend language barriers. Well said, my friend. So, here's to embracing linguistic diversity, celebrating the beauty of all languages, and learning from each other as we navigate the complexities of our shared humanity.